Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to The Product Designer. It's Jimmy, and today I'm going to be going over my very first official portfolio. Uh, this was created after we completed our three years into the program. And usually how Cal State Long Beach works is it's a five-year program. The first three years, it's mostly teaching technical skills. This is sketching, prototyping, and model making and stuff like that. And we go through the different classes throughout the years, getting more and more advanced every time. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I created uh, a short series I still need to finish, but it's going over some of the skills and projects that we they show, showed us in Cal State Long Beach. So if you haven't checked that out yet, I'll link it down in the description below. So uh, for this portfolio, I pretty much created it for, uh, I was looking for a job. And so I thought, you know, I kind of need a portfolio. And so I put this one together not really doing too much research on how to create a portfolio but i just made something that i thought would be cool that i try to cover all my bases when it comes to different aspects of industrial design so this is like a just a really quick ugly graphic design layout of some skills that i thought was important at the time so Moving on, so then I have these presentation type pages right here where it's just kind of breaking down what you're going to be seeing in the next couple of slides. So right now I talk about 3D and presentation renderings. If you're pausing these videos and reading what I'm saying, I bet there's tons of really bad grammar and uh, tons of typos. So... I just made this real quick, guys, so just don't uh, dig in too deeply in what I'm actually saying. I'm always really bad with my words and typing all that stuff. Okay, uh, so this one here, I'm showing the 3D projects that I've worked on. So this is a spray gun here, probably have some type of description and stuff about the product. And then moving forward, uh, this project here... That we were made to design like a lunchbox, so I wanted to do a gym lunchbox. And I, I really like this one. If you guys are uh, following me on my Instagram, I posted this one a while back. So if you guys don't follow me on there, you would sometimes see some of my projects that I post that I've been working on for the past couple years now and some of the projects that they uh, have us do in school. Okay, here is an action camera. So I know this one, uh, this project was telling us either we can do a, sh I think it was a camera and something else. I can't remember. But I decided to do a camera because I'm more of a consumer electronics type of person. Uh, this is kind of like a GoPro competitor, but it's more rugged and it's made out of metal. And I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, they really wanted us to do something crazy with the exploded view shots. So it's just right up here. So what they do is they'll assign us a project like, hey, we're, we want you to design like a piece of furniture or a vinyl toy or, you know, a camera. And for the deliverables, the things that you actually need to show them page by page, they'll say, oh, OK, so we need like two hero shots front and back. Uh, we need a composition shot with a color study. That will be something like this where you're just playing around with the colors. And then they'll do an exploded view where you'll do something like this. So it's really up to your professor and what they want to see and sh like kind of show what you got. So they'll, they'll have a list of uh, deliverables for you. And these are the images that you need to produce. And keep going. So this one here is a little bit more advanced uh, when it comes to SolidWorks. Something to create as organic as this, you would need to use what's called surfaces in SolidWorks. And this is a little more advanced. It's, type, it's a different type of mindset uh, when you're actually building stuff. And so this is what I ended up with for uh, these Oakley goggles. I think they had us do either an Oakley goggle or not. It doesn't have to be Oakley. Uh, but and goggles or a pair of shoes. So you, you can make either one of those. I decided to do goggles. And then I move on to my Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator skills. So these two programs are going to be, you know, I use these two programs just as much as I use any program in for uh, design. And so this here was one of my first rendering classes where we had an alumni come back from about 10 years He's been graduated for 10 years, came back and started teaching again. And what he really specialized in was um, 
photoshopping and making these realistic renderings not in keyshot but with just photoshop and so he taught us some techniques you know just like how to be able to do stuff like this which is super cool because if he wasn't to come back and teach at Cal State Long Beach, then uh, this they don't really teach or have a class specifically to do this. And I think today, one of my best skills is really rendering in Photoshop, creating stuff that looks real. I really like it because you don't have to mess with creating a CAD model at first and then rendering it through Keyshot. You can just you know find kind of like an image that you that the angle that you kind of want it at, and then you do like a quick overlay about it over it, and it'll just make things really easy. But then you obviously you design it uh, the way you want to design it. So this was really cool. Uh, you can see I did like a pair of gloves here and chose to do boxing gloves. And uh, I also did like a spin off to this one. I think I uploaded it on my Instagram as well. It was when Conor McGregor was fighting Floyd Mayweather. So then I just thought, you know, I have a boxing rendering. I'll just render it uh, green and then it'd be supporting Mayweather or my man uh, Conor. All right, uh, so this is some more photoshopping, uh, another Oakley thing. I guess I'm super into Oakley, but this is just another Oakley thing where we're supposed to be designing, whatchamacallit, uh, designing like sportswear, snowboarding type of gear. So they had us made us do a boot, helmet, and pair of goggles. And that was pretty cool. So this is all just me figuring out, learning how to do these renderings in Photoshop. Very initial, uh, just some super early stuff. So this here and some of my transportation stuff, this is how I was kind of like started getting into industrial design is through transportation. And so this was kind of like stuff that I did for fun on the side. And I just decided to just throw it in there to just kind of show off my Photoshop skills. Obviously, this is way back and it's kind of like, it's pretty cool. I think I did a pretty good job even for it being wonky here and there. I can see uh, just by critiquing my work, I haven't really looked at this portfolio in like, I don't know, three or four years now. I have a newer one now that I show around when I'm looking for a job, but uh, I thought I'd show you guys this one here. So I was able to land my, my first uh, industrial design job, which was not an, an employment ship. It was a contractor, and it was at a design consultant where people would come in and with great ideas they'll be like hey you know I have an idea for a product but I don't know how to make it so then I and my boss would just figure out a way to design the thing show renderings and sketches and stuff like that and development through the process and so uh, this was a cool job I was able to land it because one of my buddies he was offered it but he actually didn't want it so then he asked me if I wanted to try it so I went okay yeah I'll give it a shot I wasn't really expecting too much I, I at this time, I was really focusing on just like, you know, I want to do every interview that I possibly can, whether I expect to even get the job or not. I just kind of wanted to do it just for fun. And for some reason, this job seems to be, you know, it seemed to be really cool, turned out to be really cool. And so I was like, you know, maybe I'll just stay because he seems to like me. And I was actually getting paid decently at the time. I started off at $20, $20 an hour. And then later I moved up to 25 and then to 30 and then to 45 and then ending up with 45. I don't work there anymore, but this is the portfolio though. What I'm saying is that this is the portfolio I used to be able to land that job. And just some more car stuff. I don't really, I haven't really done stuff like this in a while, but it's always been really fun for me to just kind of do some of my like passion passion projects but i'm not too much of a car designer nowadays i just like to sketch them sometimes it's always fun to do that all right model making and prototyping so this is going to be something that i've showed in the past videos before this is made out of foam and we painted it and stuff like that so this is kind of here i'm just trying to show the boss that uh, i can model make i can create stuff and create these type of prototypes uh some more this is the very first one this is very very funny because when i designed this i thought it was kind of cool it was like a twist off of a phone 
I kind of designed it after the uh, HTC One M8. You guys remember that phone? I think it's the M7 and then M8. Uh, and so I really like the curve on that phone, so I kind of mimicked it in the back here. But then later I realized, huh, this looks kind of funny with the two shaving rings and then this long... <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. Anyways, I thought that was pretty funny. And I think this is the last... Oh, oh I still got more to go. Uh, where did we leave off? So this one here was more a of just like trying to learn uh, how to create shapes. It was this form study class where he didn't want it to look like an actual product. He didn't want it to be a product, but he wanted us to learn the aesthetic of what a product looks like and incorporate that into a certain shape. And so... Up here, as you guys can see, this was some of my inspirations for developing this, which is super ugly. I really don't like it, but this is what I like the things that I use to come up with uh, this product here, which is not really a product. It's kind of a funny thing. And this project was super cool. It's a toy that we were able to make in one of the prototyping classes. And we're supposed to use like three different mechanical mechanisms that the toy needs to have. And we need to build it ourselves in SolidWorks and have it 3D printed and, you know, really tested. This is really showing off and trying to develop our mechanical engineering type of skills. Because industrial designers, we really need to know... Uh, a deep idea of 3D and visualizing 3D and this has to do with obviously mechanical engineering sometimes and so we're actually very similar when it comes to mechanical engineers but we're not um, we don't really know the numbers quite well you know we're, we're not so specific when it comes to CG and and all of that mathematical stuff but as far as understanding it and visualizing it we're you know we have to be as good as mechanical engineers in that way and this here was kind of an articulation. So there's mechanical movements where there's constant rotation and constant movement. But then there's articulation, which means kind of like um, like it changes from one thing to another rather than rather than like a rack and pinion where it's a where it's a motion based mechanism. And whereas articulation, you change it from one thing to another. So for this project we had to start off with a cube and then we had to turn that into something else. And so, you know, but using different type of mechanical mechanisms like hinges, like sliders, like, uh, you know, uh, temporary fasteners, just stuff like that, uh, we're supposed to change it into something else. So I decided to choose a uh, what do you call it? A tank. And there's actually video, like really old videos. If you guys look back in my older videos, um, there is a video of me and pretty much every single person in my class at the time and their projects and their cube projects. So if you guys want to look back, it's pretty deep down in my channel, but you guys can definitely find that if you're interested in watching those. And this is going to be a very last project here. It's going to be a, a elect electronics class that I took and so this was the final project where you know you could be able to do anything with all of the skills that we were learned and they taught us in that class using electronics so I decided to do this like a uh, pair of headphones here and they work you know and I, I, I made this actual uh, auxiliary cable right here too just by buying some parts and soldering some ends together and creating this thing and I in this picture it's uh, just in the process too this is actually not what it looks like when it was finished I had the foam and stuff like that but uh, decided to just throw that in there okay and then this one here I created this project specifically for a design show that we were in. So every, I think it's the second year, the end of the second year, they make us do a show. And what's actually really crazy is that whoever is best performance in that show would win a scholarship. And this scholarship is the highest scholarship that Cal State Long Beach uh, offers. And... It's also a $6,000 scholarship. So if you won, you get 6000 bucks. Two people actually win in this uh, competition. And so I was like, dude, I totally want to win this. But the class that I was in at the time was super freaking competitive. Tons of very, very talented people. I was just like, dude, I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this. I really wanted to, though. So I put my mind 
at work, I over over spring break, I was like, okay, what am I going to do? What should I do in order to win this? Well, I was like, I should try to make a really cool model. And so I decided just, you know, spend my own money, go out and make this model. Uh, took me about like six weeks. I was trying to really finish it. It was like, it took me about, I think, six weeks to a month to finish or six weeks to two months to finish and came up with this uh, created the stand as well. This is supposed to be kind of like the futuristic F1 car. And I ended up winning the scholarship. One of my most proud moments. Um, very, very, very happy. You know, just the, the class was so talented. And I, I also spent tons of time on actually writing the essay portion of it because I think that a lot of designers, you know, they, they really want their work to show and they really want to be like, yeah, like, look how good I am. Look at my work. And that's true. And, you know, every designer thinks that. But it, it you can't really look over past when there's an essay portion, when there's a portion when it's really getting down and dirty to people wanting to know who you actually are. So I would say, you know, spend as much time as you would writing, uh, writing these things and Oh, my, my thing's getting full. I better end this soon. Writing, like spend, spend as much time writing about you because people really want to know who you are. And if you're a part of a competition that has this aspect, I would say definitely spend a lot of time on that portion. All right, guys. So this is the process here. I'm going to end this soon. And this is Jimmy. Please subscribe if you guys haven't already and like this video if you learned a thing or two. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace.